There's so many great small businesses out there. From Nancy Purdy on Facebook, my son just graduated SUNY Adirondack Culinary Program. Oh, we know that place. What are some good gifts idea, gift ideas for his kitchen? Geez, honestly, you can buy so much online now. It, it really depends on, on, on the cook or the chef. Special knives. John has given me knives from Japan. Had knives made uh, by uh, your friend that makes the choppers. Yep, Paul. Paul. Paul Cox. Paul Cox. Um, so, you know, a really special, unusual knife. Um, you always take a penny to someone you give a knife to. It's like throwing the coins yeah. in a new car. Um, good cast iron lasts a lifetime, obviously. Uh, but you know, maybe just a gift card to a really cool artist or a cooking site because there's so many great small businesses out there that also make specialty equipment for the kitchen and our small businesses need so much help right now. This is from Celia Marion Wald on Instagram. Did John ever bartend? I did. I was a bartender for a while. Yeah. Have you ever been a bartender? Absolutely. Uh, I remember my first bartending gig. Um, I thought it was going to be easy. I was working at a restaurant. They're like, 10 the bar. Oof. I said, okay, I can do that. Um, I figured it'd just be beer, you know, glasses of beer and wine. And no, people love Jack to order things with crazy The first notes. thing that someone ordered a bloody brain shot, whatever the heck that is. I invited her back behind the bar. Apparently it was like peach schnapps. And this is how John used with, to get dates. With Irish uh, uh, cream and a drizzle of grenadine. I think she made off with the peach schnapps and I got fired the next day. So that was my first bartending job. If we didn't know what we were making behind the bar, um, oh, I hate to admit this, it was terrible. I was very young and I was stupid. But if we didn't know how to make it and it had a ridiculous name, Chances are the person ordering it just wanted to say the dirty name, right? <laughs> so many of them were dirty names. So we would just kind of invent whatever we wanted. <laughs> yeah. I can't even believe I'm saying it. I feel terrible. Um, but I was the only girl on uh, one of those tour boats. And they usually would only hire men, even though it said equal opportunity employer, because at the end of the night, you had to carry the mop bucket over your head up a ladder and mop the entire boat swab the decks as they say you're a deck swabber that's right and i said i'll work for free if you just let me try one night and it was group tips and all the tips went up because they never had female bartenders so it helped with the tip pool a little and uh, i could carry that i got it back like an ox i could carry that mop bucket no problem <laughs> i still have a back like an ox so you couldn't make a bloody break no neither could that person either i think Pretty certain probably she just made it up to. And she stole the schnapps. <laughs> stole the schnapps, the peach schnapps. Is that it? Yeah, you just have to say this tease. So you guys just write us. We'll answer anything. Uh, just keep the questions coming because we really enjoy these segments. We do, this is the fun part. Thanks for spending time with us and we'll see you when we see you. Bye everybody. Bye everybody.